Okay, so these are the raw cadences and arpeggios for our piece, and they sound like this. And each one of those has a different characteristic feel and sound. These are the different rhythms for our different stanzas. And then what we're doing is feeding those source scores into this composite, which sounds like this. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 14, Persist. In today's episode, we re-entered, uh, we said we're going to start what we're calling it too so we have something called the it poem which is up here had we not glimpsed it we would not see it at the beginning we saw a glimmering full complete yet when we took it on we progressed only inch by inch and it took over to where it was going and to what it was going to be with us now along for the ride what was our role in its creation? What was its role in ours? Yet had we not glimpsed it, we would not see it now. So we are turning this into a composition. We're giving it a characteristic interval pairs. These are the 1551s, one, five, five the 1441s, one, four, four, and they vary in their consonants. So we do end up on a higher consonance, starting with a low consonance, but we kind of jump high, middle, and then very high. And then we, we picked this out by ear. We picked out these interval pairs. There are 19 interval pairs, and we picked five by ear to work with. Then we took those interval pairs, which were, uh, again, they were, they were here. Not, where were they? Over here. And then we picked out cadences by ear into the composite score here. So these cadences are now in an order, a pleasing order, and then we added a backbone note, and then we put the arpeggio that, for that chord, and then we went and grabbed the first parts of the rhythms here at the bottom and slapped them in. So that's how we created all that. Now this is a new work method. This is a new work method. So we're kind of upping our game to have kind of multiple source scores and then feed them into a composite score. But we did kind of do that with um, one of our music animations animations and we were distinctly moving in and out of what we say here our comfort zone while composing because half the time we're saying what are we thinking why are we doing this and so we've been labeling things all over the place as our audit trail so at, in the at the end we are using in this piece at the moment 64 of 120 possible chords so we also kind of upped our game with the this here this has snare and kick added to it explicitly, which really makes the the clave, the clickety click sticks were, you could kind of hear them, but this really makes it. We would not see it now. It really emphasizes the rhythm part. Um, so we also, in our design, picked out some adjectives, anticipation, tension, discovery, reflection, and revelation, which kind of go with the theme of the, the lyric. And that we've talked about that theme as before. We won't repeat that at this point. What we are going to do is we'll just play what we've got so far. We're going to play what we've got so far, and that should take us home. So here we go.
So what we like about this so far is huh, we feel like it's starting to come together. We did squeeze in the rhythm and the arpeggios with the new cadence sequences. Um, we like having picked out adjectives. Um, we're still feeling that discomfort. Uh, we use the metaphor. It's like going into a dark labyrinth with a trying to unwind a ball of string behind you or leave cookie crumbs to figure out if you can, you know, in case we hit the wall, can we find our way back and, and figure out where to start over. That said, that said, our ideas for next time are to keep working with it too. Keep working with it too. Adjust the arpeggio directions. Uh, tune it. Tune it. And then we have some other work to do. Shout out to Miss Cleo who hung in there with us when we were in the middle of the labyrinth wondering whether to turn right, left, or go straight. And um, there are several folks who have uh, followed us, but they haven't put their cells on chat, so we won't give their names out. Nevertheless, we appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.